Hey guys, we'll see you here again from myislandjamaica.com. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're on an adventure today, another adventure. Today we're doing crayfish hunting. I have Miss James with me in the background there. And her family, we're in the hills of Hanover. Stay with me, we're gonna have fun. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel though, remember, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell notification. That way, you see updated on all my latest videos. Let's go! All right, that's Miss James again, and she has her basket. Now the basket is supposed to help to sift through, sift through. She just stepped in the water and already she found four. All right, so let me see them. So that's four, four crayfish. All right, one, two, three, four, baby ones. Miss James, hi to the world. Miss James, hi to the world. All right, all right, all right. So we're gonna we're gonna be catching the crayfish, guys. Stay with us. We're gonna teach you how to. I'm gonna have Miss James tell you exactly what she do to catch crayfish. What is it? This is a technique now. I think she, she's just using. Normally, you would have the basket, the uh -huh. brown wicker basket. The wicker, uh -huh. the wicker basket. Uh -huh. Yeah. And like the grass. Okay, come on, come on. Uh -huh. You would pick up the basket at the bottom of it, grass, uh -huh. and then shake, shake it in the basket. Ah. Uh -huh. So you would so, shake off the fish. Oh, cool. So no diving. No. No diving. <laughs> All right, so so far we have about six. Yeah. All right. So, so we have a crayfish party this evening, guys. All right, so this is these are like the whoo, a bunch of them. You're making get a No. Oh, look, so this is the easiest way. Yeah. Don't jump out here. All right, guys. So we call it the basket technique. <laughs> I'm going to throw a bullfrog chop there for a careful way to get bullfrog in the head. Don't do it. How about that? How about that? How about that? How about that? And Tiki. What do you call Tiki? Fish? Fish? Sometimes I see them in a bamboo or... Inside the bamboo? Yeah. Like if I see one wall. One, one like this, one, one fish tonight. Told ya, told ya, told ya. That's two nice ones. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. Find a little gold mine here. Apparently where the debris kind of land and in the water. That's where the crayfish also land. Something. Find one. Ah. Oh All right, picture. Hold it up and take a picture. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. Don't move. Hold it, hold it on one. All right. So. Am I young? Am I young? Okay. But that's all crayfish. Uh -uh. Oh. Mud fish. Mud fish. Something. All right, so we're getting mud fish and we're getting crayfish. No, <laughs> baby mud fish. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, all right. So a couple more. A couple more. Uh, jumping up, jumping up. All right, so it seems as if they are. Under the, the They seem to like the, the, the grass side of the river. Eh? See one here. Uh, yeah, come check it. Uh, uh, all right. Yeah, man, it seems as if them. them all right, so is there a best time to catch? Like fish. The river run. Hmm? Just run and clear up. And the river run. You get some land up? Yeah. Land up, man. Land the whole one. <laughs> All right, good. So when the river clear so up? When you run and just start clear up. Uh, morning. Uh, so and, and also. Okay, okay. So when the river turn around and clear up. Why when it clear? Oh, well, because you can see when it clear up. Yeah. Okay. And is there a particular place on the river, Miss Jane? Like any? Like we are stone there or grass. We're more grass, more stone. Mm. Okay, okay. 
Cool, cool. So when it, ah, so when it jump up there? Sky pot. Sky basket. Yeah, so like it's a little gold mine right here. So on a good day, what amount of crayfish you can catch? Any amount. Depends on how far you want to walk. Okay. So you walk and kind of do... Alright, a couple more. A couple more. So how we, and, and how we use it? We, we make soup or typically what you use them? Yeah, parch it. Parch it? Yes. It's a parch you mean? Like just put it on one zinc. We don't know. Mm -hmm. Pot. Or you can even patch in a pot and go. Oh, patch it. Okay. okay. Like roast. Just salt it, yeah. Put it on one zinc and have the fire under the bottom. Okay. So that's mm -hmm. patch it. Okay. So we can patch one thing. Get it as it is. Alright, so we can, <laughs> so we can patch. Maybe we can patch some guys. When well, we finish, what do you think about that? I think I think I think I have more under here in the middle. Alright guys, we got a bonus here. Look <laughs> how much fish. A mud fish. I'm seeing. Alright, I think there's more under there. You know? Mingo, you know, so now oh, when you no. see a No. <laughs> no. Look at your no. <laughs> it's gone. Oh my god. I gotta get the fish and get and let him get away. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, we'll right, we catch more. We'll catch more. That's fine. That's fine. All part of the adventure. Alright guys, I'm gonna try my luck. Last time Lando was here, he caught a couple. Huh? Oh, crab. Ah! All right, so we have crab. <laughs> ah, well, 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 crabs, crabs, crabs. No crayfish. No crayfish, just crab and baby crab. Baby crab. Oh, yeah, man, there's crayfish here. We have a couple. All right, so I got more crabs and crayfish, guys. So, <laughs> so crabs. More crabs and crayfish. Baby crab. All right, one last one, Mr. One last one. Yes, yeah, Alright, one last one. <laughs> I didn't do anything under here, so alright. That's it. Alright guys, so we just left left uh, the first area here, going to another area, back onto the road, and then further upstream. Alright, so went back. Go back into the, go back into the river and, and from the other side now. Where? How could I call this? Yes, we try and come to our ground. We are now. JJ, come here. Let me get back. You need to come down. You need to So two ways fish. to catch a crayfish. So tell me, tell me now. We can't already get under the stone like how you just catch a while ago. Uh -huh. Or uh -huh. you use the basket. Uh -huh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me catch this one. So this one is a nice big one. This one you caught under the stone. Right, looking at it. Right, Pops? Oh. So this, so this now is the basket approach where you put the basket under the, the, the debris or the, the, the grass. The grass or the debris or whatever. And then you shake it in there. And then the other approach now is to... Lift up, lift up the stone and hope that you see them under there. Yeah. Nah, that one, that one must be time consuming, man. So let's. Alright, alright, good, good. Alright, look on. Alright, so we, we're, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting some good, some good crayfish here, guys. Some nice big one. This approach clearly is working. Go on. Alright, so. Mr. James here on the hunt, on the hunt, shaking the grass, shaking the grass and catching more crayfish. Man, we're having a feast here. All right, hold on. All right, All right. see by the way at the right place, man. We're getting crayfish. We don't have to go too far from here. All right, good, good. All right, guys, so I'm going to try my luck. Mr. James is the expert, but I think she taught me long and hard enough for me to catch, catch it by now. I'm gonna try my luck. Alright, so move it. No, another one there, big one in there. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna, this is a bamboo. So this is all the, all the sediments from the, the river kind of bank on this side here. So the idea is that the crayfish is usually under this kind of stuff. So what you do now, uh, you put the basket under. Shake ah. the top, sir. Shake the top. And, yeah. And shake the top. Minor finger too. Shake the top, be careful. Them. And then pull out the basket. But there's nothing. <laughs> oh, I get one, I get one. Oh, I'm not 
about somebody. Let me start for you, buddy. Let me buy them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, buy them. Uh, me tell you, I'm going to say them buy them. I'm going to lick them buy them. Adventure. Let's try again. Okay, bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing a great job right there. Alright, most fine one now. Alright. All of them gone? Come on, the most fine one. Come on, two of them. Although it's a baby one. Alright, some of you. You look a fruit by my finger. Alright, so one here guys. Alright, I'm not so bad. I'll do a baby one. So I, I think I got the hang of it. Alright, so back to Miss James. <laughs> back to the expert. Let's see what's up. Let's see what we have here now. No, I took a crayfish in. No, no, no. No man, crayfish, crayfish, good. So do you think this is the easiest way, Miss? Yeah. If I have one bigger basket, mm. enough they get away now. Yeah. I threw this basket short. Yeah, yeah. Then got so the original basket. What, what about right here? What about right here? Alright, then we just go. Okay. Sometimes they have one something on the inside. Mm -hmm. and then oh, it's your nice one here. Yes. A fish. 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 A mud fish. Alright, so we... No, we don't want a mud fish. You sure? That's too young, sir. Alright, so there's a... Alright guys, like so this is a mud fish. Like when if you go fish. fishing and go set a line, mm -hmm, you use this one. put in pan. Alright, yeah. so here's a mud fish guy, a bonus. I'm putting back in the water. So in the bamboo, we have a few here as well guys. So, I'll shake them out. Ah! Oh, nice oh, big oh, ones. Oh. Nice big oh, ones in the bamboo. Careful, let me kiss it. Alright, so I'm learning too that oh, okay. the bamboo, one the crayfish seem to hide in the bamboo as well. So let's see. Okay. Oh! Come on. Okay. All right. Nice big one. Yeah, see me. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Picture, picture, picture. 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 Whoa, nice big one. Nice big. A two? A two? A one. Hold on, picture, picture, picture. Hold on. So we can get one. All right. So we get a nice big one in the bamboo. So the secret to. Ah, careful, careful. I wonder if it's the same one. All right, put him in the bamboo. Put him in there. All right. Why are we doing a good job, man? Two one in your hand and turn up. Excellent work, excellent work, excellent work. Uh -oh. <laughs> nice fat one, you never realized. Yeah. Alright, so Lando, Lando cut his first crayfish. Alright, Lando, good job, good job. Alright. Ter, you need to post your duck. What do you call it now? What do you call it? Broke your duck. You need to you broke your ducks now, Ter. Come on, man, it's not so bad. The Lando will catch crayfish like, watch out. The Lando will catch crayfish like an expert here, man. Ah. Come here, Sasa. Nice Come on, All right, try again, Diana. straight under with the and then a shake for the pan top. As far as under you can go. No, no, no. Yeah, fish in there. Mm. Woo! You want eel? eel? Where? Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Wait. All right, guys, look at your eel. We have an eel here. <laughs> Part of the adventure, part of the adventure. Alright, he's trying to hold it. No. Fly me. Grab him and dive with Alright, to trim. Alright, that's just true. Alright, so we should have a competition. Who can hold the heel? Who can catch the heel? Put him and dive Who can catch the heel? Catch him. Nobody can catch him. Me and I. Alright. Hold him up in your hand. Nobody can catch the heel. Alright, just turn over. Turn over. Alright, just turn it over. Turn it over. Turn it over and trim. Go on, catch it. You want him? I want the basket. Turn the chore away something. Nobody, nobody. Alright, alright. Alright, tell get the prize. 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 There's the bullfrog here. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright, so that's a part of the adventure. <laughs> oh my god! Sir, sir. Yeah, see me. <laughs> see me, see me. The bullfrog.
More crayfish, guys. I, I, I think by now we should have at least two dozen, right? Yeah, Three dozen. Three dozen. Right, that's the eel. All right, souvenir. Ah, ah. Still like that. All right, that's your souvenir, son. Cool, cool, cool. All right, that's guy. Let's check this out, guys. Let's check this out. Eel. I know eel like a piper fish. Piper. Mm -hmm. Alright. Land us on pipe fish island. Alright guys, so we're going further upstream and behind me is Ter. Ter say hi to the world man. And behind Ter is who? Who's that? Who is that? Raje. Taje. Haje. Haje. Kiana. Alright, all of them is a part of the adventure guys. <laughs> Meanwhile, Maxine is taking a swim. <laughs> Alright, in the river. This is fun. <laughs> What's your name? I know we're about waist high. I am a, I am waist high deep in the water. Walking through, walking through the river here. But meanwhile, these guys are swimming up, <laughs> swimming upstream. Right, let's see what that, what they got here. Crayfish, crayfish. Look. Hold on, hold on. Let's see. Yeah, one How much? Whoa, all right. Cool, 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 cool. I'll call one back on the Yeah, man. I'll be back on the other one. I'll be back on the other one. So, how often do you do this thing, Miss James? Long time. Long time? Okay. Long time. Okay. I'm not an eel. Just stuck out the fish now, Ted. Yes, no, Crip. Oh, see one there. See one now, sir. Look here. Look, no more something there, look, all right? No, me not. I'm Alright, so guys, all we're using is a basket and a little bit of expertise. I'm <laughs> walking up the river, walking up the river, checking the banks, checking the, the trash and debris on the side of the river. And that's usually where they. The, the um the shrimps hide. The crab hold him, hold him, hold him. Hold him, hold him. Let me catch him here. Let me catch him here. Raji, Raji is patak. Hold on, man. Raji is patak crab. Raji is patak crab. Push him this way. Push him this way. Wait. Push him this way. Push him this way. All right. Raji is patak crab. Wait, wait. Push him. A eel? Man. These guys live this every day. The simple life, no stress. Come to the river, they bathe in the river, they catch the crab and they catch the shrimp and the wash and stuff like that. Man. Yeah, yeah. The first one. Oh, the first one? Yeah. Yeah. Let me go look. No, you still there, but you go down a little bit more. Yeah, you're catching. Arab worm. <laughs> Wendy? Yes? You see him? That means they are catching. Go Push your hand in there. Turn over. Push your hand in there. Eh. Yeah. A joke. Sir, go ahead, you know. Push your hand in there. Sir, it's a gift. Get a piece of stick. Come to me, sir. Get a piece of stick. You want a piece of stick? Me, you can get this camera. Come on. 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 Ah, 
All right, guys, so this is the haul. I'm gonna share that with you. Here we go, here we go, here we go. That's the crayfish. What do you think about this? What do you think about that? Over, I'm sure we have over two dozen crayfish here, right? All right, so let's big up some people. Big up, big up Miss James, Maxine. Big up Ter. Big up, who else you get big up? Misha. Misha. <laughs> Lando. Lando, who else? Rajay. Rajay, who else, who else, who else? Who else? Huh? Good work. We're going to some. Where are going to now? Fry them. Me too. Me too. All right. Big up me too. Me too. All right. Eh? Hey, no, we're not. We're going to have time, but all right, guys. So this is a catch. Uh, approximately what? About at least five dozen crayfish. So this is it. it. Was a productive day. Thank you so much. Well, there you have it, guys. Crayfish hunting in Jamaica from Harker in Hanover, Jamaica. The River Harker in Hanover, Jamaica. I hope you enjoyed. I would love to hear from you. Drop a comment down below. And remember, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I do a lot of videos capturing what I call a real Jamaica, and I don't want you to miss any of that. So hit that subscribe button and tap the bell notification. That way you'll stay updated on all my latest videos. All right, guys, well, I have a bonus for you. So we didn't get a chance to cook the, the, the crayfish back, back down, back down uh, at the river. So I, we split the crayfish. Miss James gave me a few of them. I told her, go ahead and have them, but she decided that she was gonna, she was gonna share them with me. So I have them home, never cooked crayfish before, but my daughter, the same one who loves the crab, is a fanatic of this kind of stuff she loves shrimps as well uh crayfish shrimp that kind of stuff so i'm cooking crayfish now all right and that's a bonus for you <laughs> so right now i have the pepper here i've cut up everything right you have i have the the uh onion sweet pepper garlic all right and i already have the uh, oh i need to get some scallion as well uh, one second. All right, so just wash the skillion quickly. I already have this. I already have the the uh, the oil in the frying pan getting hot. All right, so I'm cutting all of this all natural seasoning. That's my style anyway. All right, and then I'm gonna. By the way, I've never cooked it before. This is my own recipe. All right. So I'm going to pour all of this now into the frying pan and have it saute for a little while and then I'm going to put the, the crayfish in there. They're already, they're already washed and uh, I use vinegar. Here they are. I use vinegar. Vinegar to, to wash them a second time. So these are the crayfish. All right. And then, so I'm going to put, put the seasoning into the frying pan and then have it saute and then I'm going to pour in the the fish and I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, coconut powder in there and have it simmer for a little while and then we're gonna have the final product afterwards all right stay tuned guys oh and I'm gonna add a little bit of salt as well all right so salt onion pepper uh, scallion sweet pepper garlic salt that's about it that's my that's my kind of stuff all right and of course the main ingredient which is the shrimp <laughs> All right, guys, I'm pouring in this. Ooh, all this hot, man. <laughs> all right, so that's, that's the natural seasoning. All right, I'm gonna have it saute for a, a few, a minute or so. All right, my little touch pot cover. This one is a little too small. Let me get, let me get another one. Um, Alright, it's still a little small. Let me see if I can find the perfect one. Uh, now you know who does the cooking here, right? Alright, so here's one. Alright, that's a better <laughs> That's a better one. Alright, so it's gonna saute for a little bit. And then I'm gonna pour in the the um, shrimp in a in a minute or two. Oh, by the way, here's the coconut milk. Coconut milk. 
powdered one in the interest of time all right so it's about ready now guys i'm gonna pour put in the shrimp now already washed and seasoned i'm gonna I'm gonna just stir it up a little bit so everything kinda is equally distributed. Starting to sound like a chef, right? <laughs> Alright, so I have my shrimp with the with the sweet pepper, um, onion, scallion, and uh, sweet pepper, a little bit of salt I promise to add. All right, you notice notice something. Notice that the it's, notice that it's um. You'll notice that the color start to change a little bit. All right, the color start to change. That's one of the magical things I notice about shrimp. They always have a great color, but when 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 they start to cook, when heat reaches them, the colors start to change inevitably to a more uh, um uh, orangey reddish orange kind of color. Right, but it's looking good, right? All right, I'm going to now pour the coconut milk on there and have it simmer for a little while, a little while, and then that should be it. I'm gonna leave it for about five minutes, and then that should be it, my friends. Almost ready, looking good, not true. Proud of his health. All right, guys, so I'm putting a little bit of coconut milk on here, the powdered one, in the interest of time, and then I'm gonna stir it up. All right, to get a little, I love coconut shrimp by the way. So that's why, that's why I decided I'm gonna put some coconut milk, in, coconut milk in there to give it a like nice uh, coconutty flavor. Wow, start to look good. I'm starting to feel like a real chef. Looking good, looking good. All right, I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna cover again and have it simmer for a few more minutes. Five minutes, three to five minutes, and then it should be ready. It's one of those products, those um, items that cooks pretty quickly. So I'm gonna have it simmer now for a while, and then that should be it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water now, uh, just to get it a little more, a little more moisture. Give it a little more moisture, and a little, so that when we're ready to eat, there's a little bit of gravy as well. A little bit of gravy. So I'm putting a little water here. All right, guys. Well, it is ready. It is ready now. Uh, I'm just taking it up. Ali is gonna do the taste test as usual. That's her favorite part. <laughs> so Ali, go ahead and do your taste test. All right. This is Ali. Why you have to choose the bigger one? Take a smaller one. Take a smaller one. All right. I'm gonna turn off the stove. It's, it's fine, I think we did a little test in between off camera and it's, it's fine. All right, so how is that, Ali? Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, guys, so that's, that's, that's um, crayfish. I think, I think we, some people call it crayfish or crawfish, same thing. Uh, I think it's the same thing as shrimp. Correct me if I'm wrong, but every, it's the same. Certainly looks the same to me and taste the same too, it's equally good. So that's it, my crayfish video, the catching of the crayfish and the cooking of the crayfish, which is the bonus. Thank you so much for, for watching. I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment down below. Let me know about, about what you think about my cooking skills, but also about the whole adventure, the catching of the, the crayfish, almost at the crab. By the way, there's a crab video in the link, link, link below if you haven't watched it as yet. We did a crab um, catch as well. But I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment and uh, let me hear what you think about this particular video. For those of you who have been suggesting video ideas, I wanted to let you know that I really, really appreciate it as well. It has given me some new insights. But I'd love to, to hear from you too. If you haven't suggested one, tell me what do you think. What do you think should be my next video idea? I do authentic Jamaican video, what I call the real Jamaica. And so I would love to get your feedback on that. Uh, remember though, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel. I implore you to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell notification. I do a lot of videos 
capturing what I call the real Jamaica and I don't want you to miss any of that. So hit that subscribe button and tap the bell notification. That way you'll stay updated on all my latest videos. This is indeed the real Jamaica.